Hey, I'm Paul with RacketTac.com, and this is the Thule Camber Hitch Mounted Bicycle Carrier. Here we have installed onto this vehicle with a bicycle loaded. We'll take off the bike and take off the rack and show you how the rack is installed onto the vehicle and how a bike is attached and go over some of the key features that make this rack unique. So let's go ahead and remove this bicycle first. And what I'd like to point out is that this rack works really well with conventional bicycle frame designs. If you get into anything that's uh, out of the ordinary, for example, a bicycle with a lady style frame or some smaller kids bikes, it may require the need for an adapter tube which would extend from the seat to under the handlebars. And we have linked to that in this video description so you can learn more about it. Okay, so let's set this bike aside temporarily and we'll go ahead and take off the rack. We haven't actually attached the rack fully, so we'll do that next. But here you can see the design of how it's being attached to the rack. So you have a dedicated inch and a quarter stinger and then an outer aluminum adapter. So this enables this one rack to fit two different vehicle types. So it can fit onto a vehicle with an inch and a quarter hitch or a vehicle with a two inch receiver hitch. And you'll notice that the inch and a quarter receiver portion is solid steel. So it's very strong, even though it is a smaller outer dimension. Overall construction is the solid steel stinger and then tubular steel and plate steel. Overall, a very tough, durable, strong rack. Okay, so when we install this, we just enter it into the receiver and what we'll do is I have in my pocket the bolt that holds it on. So it's held on with a bolt rather than a through pin. So this bolt will actually serve as the pin and also an anti-wobble all in one. So what I'm gonna do is insert the rack with the, with the bolt through the hitch pin hole and that'll act as my feeler to find to find where it will engage into the threads. So on the stinger, we have threads that the, this bolt will thread into. And right now you can see there's a lot of movement, but we'll get that fully tightened. First, tighten as far as you can with your fingers. That will ensure that you've not cross-threaded it with a, with a wrench. But once you have it that far, then you can finish it off with a wrench. Now, Thule includes a wrench with this in case you don't have your own wrench handy but we would recommend using a aftermarket wrench. This happens to be a three quarter inch socket. And then that'll make it much uh, more convenient to tighten and remove. Okay, so as I tighten, I'll, I'll jiggle the, the rack a little bit so that it finds its way nested and get a good strong fit on there. So it's also, depending on what vehicle this is attached to, it's important to check this tightness periodically. If this is attached to an RV, there are certain RVs that this is rated for. It's important to check this bolt every 200 miles. Okay, so now you can see the difference. We've got a very rigid connection to the vehicle. There is no play between the stinger and your hitch at this point. Uh, just so you know also, there is the option to replace this bolt with a Thule locking hitch bolt. So that is a product that's sold separately if you want a bolt that goes all the way through and it'll have a lock on the other end of it. So that's a, a product sold separately for added security. So other features I can point out at this point is that the assembly of this rack is very simple. There's just two single bolts that go through and you tighten those two bolts. And that's all that's involved with the assembly other than attaching the individual straps that are up here on the cradles. Okay, so the other feature is the arms tilt down, tools free, so no pin to pull or anything. You just have the, uh, the lever that you lift up and that makes it very convenient whenever you're not carrying bikes uh, to get those arms out of the way. Also for access into the back of the vehicle, there's another lever here that allows the rack to tilt down. Now that's a feature that can be used when these arms are are in the stowed position without any bikes loaded, but that does make it convenient so that you can have this rack mounted and attached in between trips and still have access to the back of the vehicle. 
Okay, now when it's time to load the vehicle, we'll lift the arms up. So this happens to be the four bike carrier. There's ample room between the bikes to accommodate a wide range of different bike shapes and sizes. So generally when you load uh, bikes, you'll load the inside bike first and that should be the heaviest, biggest bike that you have, you would load that first. And when you load that bike, you wanna load that bike with the drivetrain facing to the outside. Okay, and I have the horizontal top tube of the frame being rested in, in these cradles. And the cradles have soft, pliable rubber to be gentle on the, the finish of the frame. And then you have these ratchet straps and buckles that will secure the bike onto each cradle. And you'll notice that these straps, they also have rubber. So it's a co-molded type material, a rigid plastic and a soft rubber. So it protects the frame while being strong and secure. Now you'll have two straps that'll secure that horizontal top tube and you have a third strap, which is designed to help minimize the sway. So without it, you can see there's a fair amount of sway with the bike. And now you have this third strap that you use to help stabilize the bike and give it a little bit more lateral, a lateral security there. Now, in addition to that, Thule provides another strap. And this strap is meant to go around the bicycle wheels, the back of the, the carrier, and then you pull that snug and that will serve to further secure the bikes and act as an ultimate safety feature in case, in case there is ever any incident, accident, the bikes won't come away from the rack. So you can see there's plenty of excess so your all four bikes can be strapped up with, with this strap. And then that really does keep that bike secure and safe in this, on, that, on that carrier with the minimum amount of movement. Okay, so we can go ahead and pull that off. And basically just as easy as we put the bike on, you can take them off. And while I'm doing that, I'll go over a couple things to keep in mind. So when you are carrying bikes, you'll find that, that the handlebars of one bike may touch the, the bike of the seat or just touch somewhere else on the, on the bike next to it. And you can avoid that with some strategic adjustment of the individual bikes. And what you'll find is when you have four bikes, you may have to take the time to load and unload those bikes a few times to find out how they interact with each other the best, allowing you to mount all four bikes. In some rare cases, you might find it even it can be beneficial to loosen the handlebars of a bike and turn those bikes, those handlebars in line with the top tube of the frame, thereby minimizing any, connect, any interaction between the, in a, the individual bikes. And that would be something where you'll find if you have a mix of of mountain bikes and road bikes and a variety of different sizes, that can really make a big difference just to loosen those bars, turn them uh, per in line with the top tube of the frame, and that really gives yourself a lot more space for carrying bikes. Okay, so here we can take off that, that bike again, set that bike off to the side, and you can see how you can just bring down the arms here and put it back in the stowed position. Okay, well those are all the key features of the Thule Camber, available in both the four bike or the two bike version. This product along with the full line of Thule products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all of your buying options. And if you have any questions or comments on this particular rack, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And consider subscribing to our channel. We have over 2,000 rack related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one and thanks for watching.